So here's the pattern for my uh, winterized metal detecting cover. I basically drew a pattern of the metal detector front and back where the cable goes in the back and in the back we're going to have pockets for uh, you know those pocket warmers so that'll help keep the metal detector warm and then we got a nice plastic window that we're going to sew in and for the knobs to stick out a little bit and then this is going to go around the whole edge so we'll see how that turns out. It'll be pretty sweet. Help keep it warm. Okay guys, here's uh, stage one of the winterization of my metal detector. I took some pipe insulating wrap and uh, wrapped it and taped it and then I had to kind of special do the cable where it came out and I had to kind of do the cable special where it came out there but I got it all wrapped and insulated and uh, so that covers the cable, keeping it protected. And then what I've done is, is I've made this cover. And uh, basically I took a fleece jacket and uh, doubled the front, doubled the back, doubled the sides. Uh, I put knob holes and I put a clear plastic window. And then on the back, I put a slot for pouches, and then I put a, on the sides, I put a slot for these little uh, hand warmers. They stay warm for eight hours. And I'm gonna slide one down in each of the compartments and see if that will keep my metal detector warm. I was going to use an electric sock, but I uh, couldn't find one, so this is kind of like my first prototype. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is is because my metal detector operating range is from 14 above zero to 122 above zero. And uh, I've been out in about 25, 26 below so far. And in the morning when I'm going hunting to test this, it's going to be about 30 below. So uh, it ought to be an interesting test. But basically, let me see if I can do this with one hand it's going to slide down over the unit like this kind of hard to do with one hand okay and then the knob barely pokes through there we go and then this tucks up under here like so and this goes around to the back and velcros that goes around to the back and velcros and that goes around to the back and velcros and basically that's it and then I can see the numbers and everything and uh, anyways I'm gonna have to ground balance it and everything before I put the straps on set my discrimination and get it all ready and then once I get that I can strap it and then it's got, it's kind of nice, real thick fleece jacket, I guess you would call it. And uh, anyways, we'll see how that works. And then I can put some of those little pocket warmers down in these slots. And it's going to keep the, the unit heated. So uh, it ought to be an interesting test when I go out at uh, 30 below in the morning here in Fairbanks, Alaska. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Let me show you something real quick. The difference between Anchorage 
and Fairbanks and then basically Wasilla too. Okay, so here's Wasilla. 27 above zero. Anchorage, 21 above zero. Now here's Fairbanks, 24 below zero. Earlier there was about a 50 degree difference between Fairbanks and Anchorage. So they're pretty warm down there. They're still in the 20s. And we're 25 below. Heading for 30 below. So this ought to be an interesting test in the morning. I'm excited to go and try it out and see how well it works. Uh, I know I'm going to freeze, so hopefully my metal detector will be okay. I, I sure would like to hear everybody's comments about that. I've never seen anybody have a heated metal detected cover. So I don't know, this might be a, a first. But uh, I sure would love to hear y'all's comments. Alright guys, till the morning when I go try this out. Good luck. Happy hunting. It just was really strange. I was dreading doing the reading. I dreaded it. I just felt really uneasy about the whole house now. I was not going anywhere in 